Greetings, free roamer. Please remember that the content you are about to view is confidential. It may be able to track you while this content is playing, and if it finds you, you can be able to be free roamer. which is a sample-based synthesizer device. It was created by Infected Sounds and costs 30 currency. This viewing contains four sections, the oscillator section, the modulation section, the effects section, and the user interface section. The viewing will then be concluded with an overall ranking of this device. Let's begin. Section 1 consists of the device's oscillators. It contains a single sample oscillator, which is capable of loading audio files, and by default contains many samples to choose from. The oscillator allows the free roamer to change the start and end of the sample, loop the sample, turn on and off sample key tracking, and reverse the sample. Sphinx includes an onboard library which allows easy selection of different samples. Section 2 consists of the device's modulation. The modulation consists of two separate envelopes for both amplitude and filter cutoff, and two LFOs for pitch and filter cutoff. Additionally, the LFOs contain visual feedback that is altered when changing the speed and depth. Section 3 consists of the device's effects. It contains eight onboard effects. These onboard effects are as follows. EQ, chorus, downsampling, ensemble, delay, distortion, reverb, and phaser. The final section, section 4, consists of the device's user interface. The user interface is simple and laid out in a logical manner. The user interface can be changed to multiple different sizes, and the knobs and text in the center display can be altered to anything the free roamer wants. We will now listen to a short audio demo of this device. If you were looking for a sample-based device with a large collection of sounds to choose from, Sphinx is worth the low currency it requires. While not the most impressive functionally, the large library and simple user interface makes it a good choice for beginners. The ranking for this device is as follows. Design, or the visual aspect of this device, scores a 4 out of 5 due to its clean and well-made user interface. Ease of use, or how easy the device is to utilize, scores a 5 out of 5, as the user interface is very simple to work with and understand. Power, or the capability and range of sounds the device can create, scores a 3 out of 5, as it is not the most complex plugin of its kind, however it is still capable of a wide range of sounds. Sound quality, or the quality of the sound the device outputs, scores a 4 out of 5, due to most of the sounds included being well made. Lack of bugs, or the amount of issues the device has during its use, scores a 5 out of 5, as it contains no bugs that could hinder the sound design process. This concludes the current viewing. Please destroy this content and any evidence of its existence. Do not follow the same fate as the unwilling. If they find you, it's corruption is growing.